Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, I've uh, recovered from the crash in the last episode, and if my calculations are correct, I didn't lose any science from that uh, crash we had, which means that I can choose one of these Tier 3, um, or I guess this Tier 2 uh, science package, to uh, move forward with the game. So a parachute and a cockpit in this one, a nose cone, a winglet, and a new um, probe core on this one. And the one I think I'm gonna get, which is a liquid fuel engine and a fuel tank, and a gravioli detector, which is a new science device, which should be uh, quite useful to uh, advance science further and hopefully unlock these other two items shortly. So, we are going to get that. Unlocks a bunch of new stuff, which I will not tempt myself with at the moment. Let's uh, see what we can do to apply a new research program from the ground up. So the gravioli detector, as I understand it, only operates at higher elevations. So we immediately need to push ourselves into a higher orbit. Well, not orbit, but a higher uh, tra trajectory. So we'll uh, use this uh, design again, because it worked reasonably well. Actually, maybe I should just, you know what, it would make more sense to load up the locked or invalid parts. Right, there's been some tweaks I updated. Uh, I guess some stuff's been tweaked around in the new, newest uh, release. So, all right, rebuilding from scratch. As I understand it, a few parts were shuffled around and FC, um, Flower Child, sorry, moved, um, moved some stuff to different tiers. So those old designs might not be valid anymore. So a few things I've read is that it may be more appropriate to put batteries lower on the rocket to help with balance. So let's see, transmission devices, communicatrons. Let's only put two on, bingo. And then gravioli detectors, which we will tuck down nice and tight right here so that they're not uh, causing us too much trouble. And this will be called the, uh, what am I calling these things? The gravioli, gravioli mark one. Because why not? Now is there anything I've forgotten here? Obviously I need to set up my staging. So let's see if I can get this right this time. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And get rid of you. Drag you three down to number two, and you three down to number, come on. This is really fidgety sometimes. There we go. All right, let me see. I might try out the liquid fuel engine in the next flight just to see what happens. Ooh, winglets. Winglets, where are the sub-assemblies? Hmm, interesting. I thought I, oh, maybe they were, oh, they were the item that got moved. Okay, interesting. I guess they weren't doing it, aren't bit of good for me. All right, action groups, custom one. Toggle the antennas. Custom two. Log gravity data. And save. All right, let's see what happens. This should be interesting. This will either go well or terribly badly. It's funny, I'm actually hoping this thing's slightly unstable so that we get the uh, necessary uh, information. 
So launching in three, two, one. Best off. fairly successful flight, I believe. We are going up, up, up. No problems at all. In fact, yeah, I think I have a few, a slight tweak, well, a major tweak to the design, and I might be able to get into a low orbit. Okay, let's see. Gravity spans began. 45 science. Wow. Above Kerbin grasslands. Transmit the data. Let's see. Now, how far are we going to go is the question. Not far at all. <laughs> Man, way really high, but no... Um, <laughs> Oops, when, what did I throttle up? Nope, there we are. Gravity scan. Oh, wow, that's a lot of data. Mm. What? Not enough electric charge? Did I run out of... Wow. Oh, wow. Did I... I ran out of batteries. You know, I have no idea if I actually managed to get the science I need. I'm going to put more batteries on this thing. Well, this can't be anything but bad for this rocket. We're gonna hit the atmosphere like a ton of bricks here in just a minute. And boom. Hopefully the uh, tweaks I made to the uh, audio levels in the game will be a little less brutal now. So, um, we'll revert to launch, I've heard works. Or, Alternatively, it's going to make me lose all the science, but we'll find out in a second. Considering that was sort of a failed flight in a lot of ways. Man, I didn't know the gravioli detector used that much. Or I guess the transmission distance. No, I got my science, so I could get more stuff if I wanted. But in the interest of ongoing challenge and the fact that I really only got one good scan out of that gravioli detector, we are going to see if I can retweak this to be a better ship for the purpose I intended for. So first things first. Let's try this with a liquid fuel. No, liquid fuel. One. We'll put two liquid fuel tanks on this thing. The same and then whatever rocket we've got here. I have no idea how good that rocket is. It's a eh, medium, might work. 
and then we'll put the same six boosters around here. And then we will set up the staging. So hopefully, if this works the way I think it's going to, not you, not you, and not you. So that one, that one, and that one to stage two. These three to stage one. Right there. And get rid of this extra rocket here. Now, oh yes, batteries. Lots more batteries. So that one set of eight batteries is just enough, apparently, for one gravioli transmission, barely. But just to make sure, we'll have to try and redo that experiment. So when in doubt, add a whole lot more batteries. So the goal here is hopefully, man, that looks awful, doesn't it? Let's, uh, Stack them up all nice like that. Now that looks kind of classy. Come on. There we go. Man, twitchy sometimes. Okay, Gravioli Mark II. Hopefully I can get more than one useful transmission out of this this time. Clear the launch pad and proceed. Well, at least it didn't lock up at the space center or something. So, ooh, that could be bad. I'll have to be more careful in the future. <laughs> All right, in three, two, one. third stage blew up. I think I might have just burned it off. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, well this is uh, a colossal failure. Well, let's speed it up. <sighs> so much for that. So, things we've learned. Um, liquid fuel engines are apparently rather vulnerable to being burned off by scorching due to um, yeah booster engines so I didn't realize that thing was going to be quite as fragile as it wound up being okay revert to vehicle assembly and let's see what we can do here so this happened because of that. So we want to push these down a little further. Hmm. Hopefully, hopefully that's far enough down. Uh, second stage. And so that's one, two, silly thing. We'll select that one. No, 
not you. You, not you. Hold on. You, not you. You, not you. And that should do it. Okay. Mark three. And launch. All right, and in three, two, one. Launch. Uh, nice and stable flight. Hopefully that engine is. Ooh, we're taking a little faster this time. We all know how this ends, so I think I'll just let this one go rather than wasting our time. Revert flight to vehicle assembly. So why did that fail? Well, first of all, that thing does not have the guts that I thought it would. So we're going to have to get it into a higher orbit a little faster, and that's going to mean some serious boosting here, I think. That seems to be the way to do it. So we'll split them into pairs. Because, you know, we're Kerbal. It's Kerbal Space Program. Go big or go home, right? If this doesn't work, well, the solution I see is let's strap some more booster rockets onto it. I suppose if I put the liquid fuel in there, Mark four. I might be able to um, give the initial launch an extra bit of a boost. Let's just see how the balancing looks here. I think the mass is centered. These, these are a little hard to read. Center of lift is way down there. That's interesting. Center of thrust. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully, with this, all right, liquid to, let's throw 30, 30, 40% in there. See if that helps any at all. And launching in three, two, one, go. Much, much more steady in the first five seconds anyways. Although I think I'm seeing a slight tilt to it already.
I just don't know if there's any way to stabilize this any more than um, I have been without throwing... Yeah, I'm not a rocket scientist. I may have mentioned that. All right. We need some new hardware. Science department? Let's see what you got. Winglets? Um, control service surface? Um, aerodynamic nose cone might help in a probodyne whatever that is. Hmm. Interesting. And yeah, all right, let's, what are these? Way more expensive. But decouplers, launch stability, yes, decouplers. Hmm. All right. Stability, let's uh, research stability and we'll see where that takes us. See if uh, the design, all right, we're gonna yank these off. We'll put them back on again once I figured out how to attach this. All right, so assuming this is not going to work the way we thought, let's take all of that out and let's use a, I got an idea. Something of an idea anyways. That's supposed to be lighter, so that might work well. And we'll throw uh, an aerodynamic nose cone on top of it, and maybe, I have no idea how this works, but maybe that will help keep it stable during launch. And we'll throw six of these buggers on there. Because, yeah, the go big, go home still applies. Kerbals, after all. And those are going to be really bottom heavy. So let's throw a whole bunch of batteries on here. In a nice ring around, like I was originally going to do. So that should be enough electrical juice for three or four scans, depending on how the balance of this works. We'll put a communicatron on here. We'll put four of them on. Oh, wow, okay. And we'll throw two of them on the sides of here. And two gravioli detectors on the side here. Action grouping up. Um, custom one, we'll throw again the antenna up. And in custom two, we'll throw log gravity data. <sighs> Mark five. This will either work beautifully or, oh, who almost forgot. Because those certainly can't hurt, can they? I'm sure they do something. All right. Such as it is, let's see what this monster does. And this will be my last launch of this episode, regardless of how well it performs. Um, so, in three, two, right, hold on. I hope you guys saw what I just saw. I forgot a detail. Watching me almost launch another disaster. I wonder how hard that would have hit the atmosphere. All right, down to you. You go down here. All right, that should do it, such as it is. Hopefully with three engines, it'll be a little more stable than the two engine design. Winglets hopefully will help some as well. And really, We'll see what happens. So, 50% throttle, 60, 70, ah, 50%. We'll make it 50. And in three, two, one, lift off.
we'll use liquid fuel to about about 25% of the liquid fuel for the initial launch here. And then we'll uh, knock it off. slightly out of control here. Uh, I got a little more of a turn. No, 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 no. Pull up, pull up, pull up. The more up you've got, the better we'll do. I, oh, come on, come on, come on. Less atmosphere means less control. Oh, 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 no overheating. Liquid fuel engines, no overheating. RCS, right? Ooh, now we're... Alright. Let's turn the engine off, because if I don't throttle while I'm tipped that way, maybe I can tumble all the way around. And in the meantime, let's see. Gravity scan, not high enough. Am I going to go high enough? That's the question. No, not even close. Man, if I hadn't lost... Control. Okay, how does one get up the fine controls? Just a second. Uh, let's see. Flight controls. IVA, no, 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 no. Precision, caps lock. So if I use caps lock, it becomes a finer, gentler, friendlier. All right, so if I pitch up, up a little further, we're toppling the right way. I might still admit this. This may be salvageable. This may be salvageable. There might be just enough atmosphere for me to. Mm, come on, come on, come on. That was close, though. I don't think this is going to pull it off. No, no, no. All right. I think I'm going to try this one more time just because we were so close and if I'd had those fine controls on this might have actually um, succeeded. So without further ado I'm going to make a liar out of myself. So, f so fine controls, course controls, fine controls, SAS on in three, two, 
one. There we go, SAS on. SAS doesn't really work all that well at this tier. It's all about my ability to actually control this little thing. But at least I can control it now, which is a nice change of pace. Overheating. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't lose it. Don't, don't fail me now. We'll top our, topple our way to science yet. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Come on. Man, these things are hard to control. Topple, tumble. I'm wasting so much energy here, it's not even funny. But my nose, the nose is up. The nose is up. I'm beginning to lose speed, though. Oh, come on. Oh, this is not going. There we are. There's our toppling fail. Come on, come on, come on. Can we turn? Nose back up again. Nose up, nose up, nose up. Throttle up. Man, oh man, oh man. I don't even know what half these controls do. Alright. Throttle down. I have no control over this stupid thing. Am I going to go high enough? Unlikely. I think I'm already... No, I'm not at my apoapsis yet, but I'm darn close. Control throttle to the engines. We are at least going up. Not going to overheat it. Come on. I'll stop it while we're facing downwards. On. This might work. This might actually work. Okay. I have no idea how high we can get it with this on, but I'm not sure SAS is really helping me all that much. Okay. Let's see. Gravity scan can't be done. I'm not falling yet. I'm not falling. I still have some liquid fuel left. I'm not sure this was really worth the trouble, but it's pretty funny. Come on, up. We want to go upwards. Oh, and that's my... Um, that's retrograde burn, which means I've just... I think that I might be falling now. Oh yeah, I'm falling. Okay. <sighs> Design fail. Um, all right, guys. I think I'm gonna leave this at that. I'm just burn the rest of this fuel up. Blow off the engine and.
and toppled into the atmosphere and we will have to try a different design in the next episode. Not quite as successful as I was hoping for, but I suppose some days things just go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. I hope you enjoyed it anyways, and I will see you next time.